some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Kansas, where we find a sovereign citizen who just thinks that she can represent her husband in a court of law, even though she's not an attorney. And, uh, well, she also tends to think that even though she's not a U.S. citizen, or so she claims, that uh, all the rights and privileges of the United States citizenry should be applied to her as well. And, well, it doesn't exactly work out in her favor, nor her husband's. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this uh, freaking S show on the road, shall we? Right, I'm looking for a Johnson. Do I have a Johnson? Um, yes, you do. I am here. Can you hear me? Yes, but you're... Oh, you're not the Johnson I was looking for, but I will take your case up. I have a couple... I have a Danny Johnson, a Danny Johnson, and well, I do. I thought I don't. I have her on here. Oh, she's Stasha Carter. Do you go by Johnson also? Okay, so I'm here for a Danny Johnson. Oh, are you the attorney? I'm. I'm a representative for him. Oh, uh oh, uh, yeah. Uh, do you do realize it is illegal in the state of Kansas to uh, practice law without a license? Now, if your uh, so-called client wishes to defend himself in a court of law going pro se, then, uh, yeah, that's uh, perfectly reasonable. But otherwise, you can't do that because there are penalties to that. So you might want to watch yourself. What does that mean? That means I'm his wife, and I we we sent. Okay, documents. Are you an attorney? I'm an attorney, in fact. Oh, geez, you melon head! I mean, come on now. Attorney, in fact, really just means that you are their representative when it comes to a power of attorney issues such as such as property or financial matters. It has nothing to do with criminal or civil law. You blockhead. You're not an attorney at law? No. Okay. So, when so, you say so you're Mr. an attorney, in fact, you're not an attorney, but you're here on his behalf as a citizen. Is that no, right? I'm not a citizen. I'm not a citizen. Um, but right. let me state for the record, Mr. Johnson is under doctor's care. He's in recovery. Uh, we sent the documentation over to the courts. To, to, to show that, to, to show proof of that. We also reserve our rights to any and all reproduction of, or distributing of videos on social media platform. And um, we request the, mat the matter to be rescheduled at a later time when he can get through his recovery period. All right, uh, Mr. Johnson failed to appear at his first appearance, February 27, 2024. August 13th, 2024, he appeared. We took formal first appearance. He entered a not guilty plea. Actually, he objected, I think, to just about everything that we did. He was argumentative, disrespectful, interfered with court proceedings, I believe he was I'll your honor. I think he stop, was just stop. He was you don't have any standing here today, Miss Carter, because you're not his lawyer. You're not him. I'm not Miss Carter. Then why is there the family name of Carter in this uh, box right here? Are you trying to play a little soft hard game with the judge? Because I have a feeling that's not going to work out in your favor. Um, I'm not Miss Carter. Then why does your screen stay Sasha Carter? It, that's what it says, but I'm not Miss Carter. And it says, Who are oh, you? Who are you? Before I disconnect you from these proceedings, because you don't have standing to be here. What's your name? Well, well again, Mr. Mr. Johnson is under. Do Dr. you Steve. want Mr. to tell Johnson me your here. name? He's here. I've already expressed, uh, gave you my name, ma'am. I'm his well, wife. Say it again, I'm because Johnson. I must have missed it. What's your Ms. name? Miss Johnson. What's your first name? Nicole. How do you spell that, please? N I C O L E. Nicole Johnson. And you said you're his wife. Is that That's correct? correct? That's you're, correct. You're his legal wife. Okay. Now, 
Uh, if you'll let me continue, and if you won't, then we'll have to remove you from the proceedings. On August 13th, 2024, he became, he became, as I said, argumentative, disrespectful, and interfered with the court proceedings. I found him in contempt. He was arrested, and he was to serve 24 hours in jail. And then, as I recall, the military put a hold on him, and because of whatever reasons, he served more than 24 hours. But he was told to be back here September 27. And uh, on September 27th, there was an issue that he either was or was not receiving medical service. And he wanted a continuance. And we uh, ultimately continued it to today. Now, that's been a month ago. And you say he's still under doctor's care and can't be here today? Or is that, what did you, what were you trying to explain there? What I was expressing, ma'am, is that he was in surgery on the day of the court date. He had 30 days ago, surgery. he was in surgery. Okay. Correct. The doctor put him under, under doctor's orders to stay on bed rest. And that's where he's currently residing at, on bed rest. And we sent in the documentation to the courts and the doctor, uh, uh, the doctor notified the courts that he's not to appear because he can't travel and he can't fly due to his surgery. You know, that's no excuse these days. Uh, there's this little thing called Zoom, which is pretty much used in just about every court case nowadays. You can be on the other side of the world and participate in a court hearing. Thanks to that little piece of technology and software right there. So, any other pathetic little excuses? And we've made it clear to him that he can appear by Zoom. So, I'm going well, to issue a bench warrant. Bond for Hold on one second, second ma'am, because he, he, he is here. He can hear you. Oh, really? He's been there the whole damn time then. Then why didn't you let him represent himself? I mean, do you want your husband to get arrested again? Do you want him to spend more time in jail again? You are enabling this kind of behavior. In fact, I'm beginning to wonder if you... You are acting as his softard guru, which would mean that you are indeed responsible for his own stupidity. Yeah, and he's responsible for actually listening to your dumbass. But it's, well, it's put him I on just, here. Oh, he's on here, but it's he's he's in a recovery uh, bed, ma'am, and he it, it's it's a violation of his rights, his HIPAA rights, to be shown and be. Broadcast it all across social media as far as bench warrant, bond forfeiture, no bond hold. Miss Weston. Oh, now you do you want to be on here, sir? Well, I, I'm. I'm you first of all, under arrest. Are you under voluntarily arrest. appearing, Mr. Uh, Johnson? No, I'm under the rest. I'm, I'm okay, I'm not arresting you at all. You don't have to be here. Can I speak, please? I just want to let you know I'm on a, a series of uh, medication that alter my. Uh, I'm on I'm on a like medication that I'm supposed to be on bed rest from my procedures for the next eight weeks and for the following eight weeks and then I'm supposed to start my recovery, but I have reached out to the courts. I have had the hospital reach out to the courts. In reference to my procedure and my process, I requested a continuation. I have also sent in letters to request evidence from the case to continue the case prior to these procedures that I have not have not got a response back. So certified mail. I sent it out registered mail that y'all the courts received. I think on the twenty third in requesting the. Uh, evidence of the case to continue prior to my surgery, but having the surgery on un un It's an unforeseen uh, circumstance. Ma'am, I want you out of the case now. You're not his lawyer. He's talking. He's representing yeah, himself. The creator, the You're creator, out. The creator made me his wife. And I, and I, I will find you in contempt of court. Ma'am. Stop talking, Miss Johnson. 
Okay. Now, both of you stop for just a moment. Ms. Gillette, you haven't had a chance to say anything on this. Do you wish to be heard? Because you're acting like the attorney. I'm acting like the court, and you owe me 50 bucks, ma'am, for contempt. And if you have another outburst, it's going to go up. Hey, Softarts. The simplest thing to do would have been to hire a lawyer as your arbiter to go in there and take care of business. That way they know for sure that you were in the hospital. I mean, that would have been the simplest thing to do. But seeing as how you're a pair of numbskull softards, I guess simple is not exactly in your vocabularies. And it will be enforced. $50 direct contempt by Nicole, to Nicole Johnson for her interruption of the proceedings. Ms. Gillette, do you wish to be heard? Ms. Gillette? Um, sorry, I was making notes, Your Honor. Um, in this matter, there have been lots of issues with Mr. Johnson. Um, there is a letter here. I don't know if it came directly to my office or through the court. It's through the court because uh, it was filed in the court file. Of All right, his... so when you say through the court, you mean it went to the clerk? It went to the clerk okay. and was file stamped. There it is, may or uh, may not have made its way to my office, but if it has, I haven't seen it for right. the record. Go ahead, please. There's a, there is a note from seen September 25th, 24. Um, his other hearing would have been the 27th. Um, asking he be excused. We've had lots of issues with Mr. Johnson in the past. Um, I am taking into consideration that he has provided a doctor's note and information about okay. that visit. But that was the last hearing. What do you have, if anything, for today from the doctor? That that was received. It was file stamped nine twenty seven. Um, I don't know if he's recovering or not. I I can't tell you anything about that. So. If he is on medication, Judge, I don't want to have anything substantive unless he's not taking pain meds. So I would move it over to November um, for him to be here um, present. And um, he needs to understand that attorneys can speak for individuals but not family members unless there's some... Do you not sort be, of, you won't be released in November, ma'am. Ma'am. So, dollars fine or for contempt against Miss Johnson. Gotcha, bitch. Ma ma okay. Yeah. Now, Mr. Cool. Carter, you may speak. Yes, sir. Now, if you're so, damn, do you even know who you're talking to, ma'am? Because you're calling all these names. Which name? Who are you speaking to? Well, you told me your name is Nicole Johnson. I'm speaking correct. So you you calling Carter, and I express to you that I, nobody's here is Carter. Well, don't have to put Carter on your screen if you're well, not Carter. Ma'am, we, we we made the point to be here in court today, ma'am. You and that's that's talk, under the fourth talking unforeseen circumstance. He's still here. Right, I'm, gonna do, I'm going to end no this talk. This court is him. over. Bench warrant. If you don't stop and get out of it. If you don't want this okay. bitch warrant, you should be you be out of this conversation and let me communicate with the defendant. Ma'am, Mr. Carter doesn't have any he control over you. Anything. Okay, Mr. Carter, I'm gonna have to end this court because the woman won't shut up. And I'm gonna have to leave a bench warrant. If you can get her to shut up and stay I'm, out of the conversation, I'm, I'm, you and I, sir, can have a hearing. Now, okay. How much time do you need this continued, Mr. Carter? Okay. I, I, Doctor can send over the information. I will request. Mr. Okay, Johnson, my, I'm sorry, Missy. Can you get hey, that? Hey, hey, hey! I'm trying to explain to you. The doctor told me it's going to be three to six months for my recovery. Three to six so months. For I had a T10 T11 it's procedure. So it's a it's a middle back procedure. Um, like I said, I haven't even started physical therapy yet. Do so, you have an attorney, or would you be would you be willing to take a court appointed attorney? I, I, as far as the attorney, all I would call coming to do is because I'm on medication. I I don't want the court hold anything against me that I may say due to the type of medication I'm on, and I two understand. is the fact that I am asking requesting a continuation 
I know y'all saying I was being whatever, but at the end of the day, I don't request no continuation at least to uh, December, late December or January. All right. We're going to set this over for trial. It'll be for bench trial. And what the doctor told you you'd be in recovery for how long? I'll be three to six months for, for okay. uh, recovery. So this is October, November. December, January. I will continue this. Missy, what do we have mid to late January? January. Very ethical. Is that that month that is really challenging? Um, yeah, but we do have January 31st at 11 available. All right. January 31st will be your bench trial. Now, did someone, did I understand that someone did receive something from his doctor today or recently? Ms. Gillette, you were talking about something from a month ago. What time? Yes, it was filed September 27th. It said he had surgery. Yeah, now that's, that we continued that hearing based on that letter. We continued it to okay. today. But has anybody seen anything more recently? No. I think the wife was reading something that said he couldn't travel, but I don't think it said anything about uh, appearing by Zoom. I think it just said he couldn't travel or appear that in that fashion. But that's what we need to make sure come January that the doctor understands this can all be done by Zoom. And again, Mr. Johnson, would you consider appointment of an attorney to represent you? Not at this moment, Your Honor. Like I said, I'm on medication. Well, an attorney could sure, you know, could sure help you navigate through this court system. I understand you wanted to represent yourself, but the attorney could sure, sure help you. I don't need an attorney at this moment. All right. We'll document that for the record, Ms. Gillette, in the journal entry that he does not, he still does not want an attorney. Of course he doesn't want an attorney because why do you need an attorney when you're a sovereign citizen who believes that they know the law better than anybody else? Oh, wait, they don't know the law better than anybody else. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in so many damn court hearings making themselves look like complete imbeciles. That we are continuing this again at the defendant's request for medical reasons to January 31st, 11 a.m. Now, that's going to be for bench trial, so keep that in mind. The state will have their witnesses ready, and if you have any witnesses, you'll need to have them ready. Hopefully, you won't be under medications January 31st or in any situation that's going to affect that. But, um I won't. Uh, I won't issue the bench warrant. Nicole Johnson does owe me a hundred dollars, or she owes the court a hundred dollars. I'm going to give her ten days to pay that. If she doesn't pay it, then she's going to face more contempt. That payment needs to be paid, Miss Johnson, to the clerk of the district court, and that is in Eureka, Kansas, at 311 North Main. And make sure you put on there contempt for case number GW 2024-TR22. That's And put on there that it's for payment for direct contempt of Nicole Johnson for continued. Uh, well, you won't have to put on there other than for contempt. But I do want the rest of it put in the journal entry, Ms. Gillette. Well, somebody tried to defend themselves as contempt. Or exercise their rights is contempt. Ma'am, you don't have any rights in this hearing today. I do. I'm not a citizen, ma'am. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, you claim to have the right to speak, the First Amendment right to speak, but you don't want to be a citizen of the United States. So you do realize that these uh, amendments and everything like that only apply to U.S. citizens. If you are a member of the United States, you freaking moron, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. I, I, I don't care what you consider yourself. You do not have any right to come into any court of law and start interrupting and delaying the procedures and well, absolutely de deliberately and intentionally 
disobeying what the court instructs you. Ma'am, I, I called the county attorney yesterday. I called the clerk yesterday. I am I going to tell it. you to stop talking one more time before I, I know because you want me to, you don't want me to express my rights. Uh, you, this my is right. not your hearing. This is not about you. I really well, you're have making to it about send me, the sheriff to you're whatever it about state me. you're you in. Not, you have not given no lawful consideration to, to, to jo this matter. Mr. Ma Johnson, under the doctor's care. He has provided all the documentation to show that he's under the doctor's care, ma'am. And you have not given no consideration to that. You are so fortunate that man. you're not here in person or you'd be locked up right now. Yeah, I am fortunate. And Mr. Thank Johnson you. will be locked up if he is not here in person. Mr. Johnson is ordered to appear in person at, at, for bench trial January 31st, 11 a.m. Ms. Carter. Yeah, because you want to retaliate against okay. him, don't you? Ms. Carter now owes $200 in fines. Damn! And I'm disconnecting this call so I don't have to send the Greenwood County Sheriff to whatever yeah. state she's in to get her picked up and locked up for contempt. Ha, ha, ha. Ma'am, every yes, time somebody you. expresses their lawful rights to defend themselves, you hold them in contempt. Why is that? You are a judge. You are compelled to, to provide protection for we the people. You are you acting as an attorney, giving advice to people, talking, bringing people down, and he's in a situation to where he's under doctor's orders. It's a shame that you still wanted him to present himself under the doctor's orders of bed rest and medication before the court. Put the camera on, on the yourself camera so you, you can talk to me, Ms. Carter, you can across social media and you can talk down on them and you can make money off of it because you go and you spread it and then you get up all hey, these views. Put the camera on yourself think, if you want to tell me off, Miss Johnson. I, I can put the camera where I want to. That's my legal all right. right you are to appear. I will send up the orders for you to appear personally because you're going to serve some time for this disrespect. Miss mm -hmm. Johnson. It's disrespect with what you have him Ms. doing. On disconnect her. This court hearing is adjourned. Yeah, disconnect yourself because you're on yeah, lady, you really need to uh, study what the rights actually are. And seeing as how you don't claim to be a citizen of the United States, then uh, why should you enjoy the rights of those who actually are a part of the United States? In fact, I dare you to go to another country like Canada and demand that you have all the rights and privileges of a citizen per their constitution. And I bet they would laugh in your damn face. It is just so asinine to say you're not a citizen of any country and demand to have the same rights as the citizens of that particular country. That is the height of absurdity. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?